I'm so excited to play this for you guys. So yesterday I told you a story and I even played from the art auction when Jay-Z and Beyonce's daughter, Blue Ivy, started bidding on a piece of art, right? Yeah. She bid $19,000 on a piece of artwork and she was bidding against Tyler Perry. <laughs> who told the story to Jimmy Kimmel last night, and his side of the story is hilarious. It's this beautiful painting of Sidney Poitier. Like, I've got to have that. Right. So I put out my paddle, and then somebody on the other aisle over there is bidding too. It's Blue Ivy, oh. six years old. Yeah. yeah. But for me, I'm thinking, okay, it's charity. It's a good cause. Yeah. And I'm not letting this kid take this painting from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to teach you now, little girl. You're not going to get everything you want. <laughs> well, we'll tell you, Tyler Perry won that bid. More. He paid twenty thousand dollars for that and did end up saying that you know, uh, I'll admit you know if she would have raised the paddle one more time, I was just gonna have to let her have it. But he ended up getting the painting. Wait, what about as parents, Jason and Beyonce? Hearing they, that, I know. Uh, but did they say to her, "Listen, we gave you a twenty thousand dollar budget and you couldn't make it happen. <laughs> You're not gonna get everything you want in life, just like Tyler Perry said." Like, or I, I almost picture them hearing Tyler Perry say that and and then going. Oh, yeah, she will get everything she wants in life. <laughs> they actually you know? bought Sidney Pontier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that same artist and then commission them to do a, a custom one for Lil Boo. I mean, I don't know, but I just thought that was, it's like there's always two sides of the story in each experience. Or they say, what do you say, John Jay? Three sides of the story. One person, the other person, and then the truth. His side, her side, and the truth. Right. Chrissy Teigen, the truth is, is she's pregnant. She's due in June with her second baby. She took to Twitter on Monday to complain. She's gained up to about 40 pounds, and she said not one ounce went to her butt. She said, please stop shaming the buttless. We are trying, people. She also went on to reveal an important rule for pregnant women. She said, just a heads up that when a prego says what they've gained, you can only share what you gained if it's more not less. So if I say I gained uh, 40 pounds and you say, yeah, I only gained 25, you're like, shut up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I think that's a pretty good rule of thumb. Zac Efron revealed he has had a celebrity crush for quite some time. He crushed on his former Summerlin co-star, Lori Loughlin. Now, he revealed this after Entertainment Tonight actually gave him a video in the middle of his interview from his former co-star. He was just such a young kid with a gap between his teeth when he <laughs> starred on our show. It was so funny. I think he was 14 years old, and he was wow. always cute, you know, but he really, um, yeah, he really morphed into quite the hunk, huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> thank you, Laura. You love it? Yes, she's I do. So she has no idea. Um, I think you're blushing, Zac Efron. I am. I, she's like my, I really love her a lot. So yeah. thank you, Laurie. That was very sweet. <laughs> yeah, he you was know, blushing you know big time. Lori Laughlin is married to? No. Massimo. Who? Massimo. Oh, like the Target? designer? Yeah, the designer. Wow. Uh, who's in Target? All so the it's not John Stamos? Like a volleyball Just <laughs> No, not John Stamos. Uh, my, Jan, Jan Stamos. Jan. My daughter's full uh, binge watching that when she had the flu. She went through like three seasons of Full House. And yes, you really do want those two to be together, don't I you? I know, I yeah. really do. I do. I, in my head, they're married.